Good morning, boys and girls. I am so glad you're here. Things are moving along. I know school's getting ready to start up. I am so excited for you guys. So let's start with our hug. Oh, thank you. I love hugs. So this is gonna be our last week to be talking about prayer. And I hope that you have started praying in your life. I hope this has made a difference for you. Um, Cause what is prayer? Simply talking to God. So we discussed God wants you to pray and we read scripture on that. Prayer is simply talking to God, just like we're talking. You can pray anytime. And today we're going to talk about you can pray anywhere. Our scripture today is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8. Therefore, I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy lands without anger or disputing. So let's see if you can guess what Bible character I'm talking about today. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been on the move. I was thrown down a hole by his brothers. I was sold as a slave. I traveled to foreign countries. I was tossed in a prison. I even served alongside a king. And everywhere I went, I talked to God. No matter where we are, God is always there. And God is always ready to listen to our prayers. You can talk to God inside, outside, upside down. You can pray at home, at church, at school, or even in a restaurant. You can talk to God whether you're alone or with other people. God will listen to you anywhere, everywhere you are. So who do you think I was talking about today? So let's see, he was thrown into a hole by his brothers. He was sold as a slave by his brothers. Uh, oh, here's one, you're all gonna get it. He had a coat of many colors. Joseph, exactly. So you know, God wants us to pray anywhere because he is everywhere and he is ready to listen. He cares about what you care about. God doesn't want us to pray out loud just so people will see us and hear us. Um, he wants us to talk to him from our hearts, to connect with him. You know, sometimes we do pray out loud, like at the end of today, I will pray, but I'm not doing it for attention. I'm doing it to seek God's will. <clears throat> I want you to pray with me. I want you to, not only can we talk to God, but we need to listen. We need to stop sometimes. We need to just slow down and listen to what God is telling us when we're talking to him because he wants to fill you with love. He wants to fill you with that, um, with guidance, with comfort. Um, he cares. And I just want you to understand that so much that he wants you talking to him. So I hope that you will all just remember, you can talk to God anywhere, anytime, about anything, because he loves you that much, okay? Um, So remember, God wants you to pray. Praying is simply talking to God. You can pray anytime, anywhere. So let's pray right now to close our, our session, okay? I'm so glad you guys were here. I love you each. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for these boys and girls that are listening, Lord. And as we talk about prayer, as we talk about what you're wanting us to do in our lives to grow closer and closer to you, Jesus, because you want to be our friend. I just, I thank you for that much love. Nobody loves us that much but you, God. So I pray that each one of these boys and girls just feel that love in their life and that they will know you're there all the time, anytime, and that you want to listen to them about their concerns, um, 
Jesus, I just, I pray for this world. And as school's getting ready to kick off and COVID is still hanging on, I just pray for you to uh, just heal us, uh, comfort us as we go back to school. I just can already feel the excitement of friends being together again and getting to share with each other. And I just pray that you um, just protect all that, Jesus. We praise you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful week.